No principle is more central to today's psychology or to this book than this. Everything is psychological. Every idea, every mood, every urge is biological. We may talk separately of biological influences, but they are two sides of the same coin. To think, feel, or act without a body would be like running without legs. Without our bodies, we would be nobodies. In this chapter, our explanation of biology and the brain starts small and builds from nerve cells to the brain. We'll also see how our brain goes from the waking and sleeping brain. Everything is psychological. Bio Bi biological psychologists study the links between biology and behavior. A neuron is a nerve cell. Dendrites receive messages from neurons. Glial cells protect neurons. Neurotransmitters enter the synaptic gap and they bind to receptors on the receiving neuron. A synapse is a point of communication between two neurons. Neurotransmitters are chemical messages manufactured by a neuron. A neuron has a cell body, dendrites, an axon, and myelin sheath. When a person gets MS, the myelin sheath is eroding and not sending messages correctly. Communication throughout the nervous system takes place via neurons. Most neurons are extremely small. The brain contains 100 billion neurons. Some neurotransmitters are serotonin, which if underproduced can lead to depression. That is why some people take antidepressants. Dopamine, which too much can lead to schizophrenia. ACH, which can break down in Alzheimer's disease. And norepinephrine, which too little can cause depression. Glutamate, which over, in oversupply can overstimulate the brain and endorphins are released when we are excited. These are all neurotransmitters. There is the peripheral and the central nervous system. The nervous system is the primary internal communication network of the body divided into the central nervous system and the peripheral system. Your complex, complexity resides mostly in your interneuron system. Your nervous system has a few million sensory neurons, a few million motor neurons, and billions and billions of interneurons. There is the peripheral and the central nervous system. The nervous system is the internal communication network of the body divided into the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. Your complexity resides mostly in your interneurons. Your nervous system has a few million sensory neurons, a few million motor neurons, and billions of billions of interneurons.
somatic system, autonomic system, sympathetic system, and parasympathetic system. Somatic nervous system, peripheral nervous system, division controlling the body's skeletal muscles, also called the skeletal nervous system. This is a picture of it. The autonomic system is a nervous system which controls the glands and the muscles of internal organs such as the heart. Sympathetic subdivision arouses, its parasympathetic subdivision calms. The brain uses about 20% of all energy. The adrenal gland gets us out of sticky situations. Oxytocin is released when we look at babies' faces. It is a feel-good hormone. The testes secrete male hormones. The ovaries secrete female hormones. The brain has two halves, the right brain and the left brain. Humans have more advanced brains. We have the brain stem, the medulla, and the pons. And the brain stem is a region of the brain made up of the hindbrain and the midbrain. The reticular formation is a network of nerve fibers located in the center of the medulla that helps regulate attention. The cerebellum is a large two-sided hindbrain structure at the back of the brain responsible for muscle coordination and maintaining posture and equilibrium. The amygdala deals with fear. The hypothalamus is a peanut-sized forebrain structure that is part of the limbic system and regulates behaviors rated, related to survival. The cerebral cortex is a thin layer of interconnected neurons covering the cerebral hemispheres the body's ultimate control and information processing center. The frontal lobes, portion of the cerebral cortex lying just behind the forehead, involved in speaking and muscle movements and in making plans and judgments. The motor cortex helps in balance.
The somatosensory system is our feelings. The visual cortex is the occipital cortex. The hearing cortex is the temporal cortex. More intelligent animals have a larger cortex. Plasticity is the brain's ability to change. When we learn a new instrument, our brain changes. The corpus callosum connects two parts of the brain. Here's a picture of the corpus callosum. You can see it. The left hemisphere interprets language. The right hemisphere is good at high level language processing. Consciousness is us being aware of ourselves. We have a 24 hour biological clock. REM is when we sleep. It's called rapid eye movement. Beta waves, delta waves, and alpha waves. Delta waves occur during deep sleep. We need sleep to exist. There is a risk of depression when we do not get enough sleep. Insomnia is lack of sleep. Like I mentioned, insomnia is the recurring problems in falling or staying asleep. Narcolepsy is falling asleep while you are awake. And sleep apnea is when you cannot breathe while you sleep. We all dream up to five times a night. We have five sleep cycles. We only have theories on why we dream. We do know if you study, then go to sleep. 
sleep processing in the brain occurs, and when you wake up in the morning, you're more apt to know the information.